So how can we express this expression in factorial notation? So before we can even answer this question, there are a few things that I would like us to understand about factorials. If you've been given an expression, for example, 9 factorial divided by maybe 7 factorial. We know that a factorial is simply 9 times 7, sorry, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, all the way up to 1. So we can reduce the 9 factorial such that the 9 factorial becomes 9 times 8 times 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial. Remember, 7 factorial simply means it's going all the way up to it's going all the way up to 1. So the 7 factorial can cancel, leaving us with 9 times 8, which should give us 72. So that's how we can simplify a factorial. Now, for the question that we have at hand, we have been told to say express this as a factorial notation. So to express this, let me just write it as it is. So we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Now, if that's the case, it simply means that there was a times 5 factorial, like that. Now remember, everything is over. So since there was a 5 factorial, where did it go? That 5 factorial cancelled with this 5 factorial here. Then 4, 3, 2, 1 is the same as 4 factorial. So for us to move from here to there, we say 5 factorial cancels with 5 factorial. Then we have 4 factorial, which is this one here. Meaning that what we have here is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 factorial, of which is just the same as 9 factorial, divided by 5 factorial, 4 factorial. So this is our answer. Now let me do the reverse so that you understand it. So if I want to put this back into that form, this is what I'll do. I'll reduce 9 factorial to look like a 5 factorial. So I'll say 9 factorial is the same as 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial. 4 factorial is the same as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you'll see that the 5 factorial comes with the 5 factorial, leaving us with 9, 8, 7, 6. 9, 8, 7, 6 over 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is just the same as that. So this is our answer. Thank you very much.